and welcome back to another Sims 3 store content review. Uh, today we are going to look at the Bayside Kitchen set and it is 499 Sim points and you get approximately 24 items with the set. So um, here's for you know for the most part what you get in the set. Uh, there are a few extra items um, so first we're going to go ahead and start with the, the flooring, the walls, the windows, and doors are not included in this set. And the sink that you are currently looking at here also does not come with the set either. I will explain in a little bit a little later in the video on why I use this sink and not the sink for this part of the video that comes with the set. Okay, so while we're over here, we're going to go ahead and first just kind of start with over here on the right. Uh, you do get a few new shades, um, window shades for your house. Uh, these are actually rather nice. Um, when I first seen the picture of them, I wasn't really too sure what these are going to look like or really what I thought of the style. But once I put them in and seen how they fit over the window, uh, I, they look really nice. They kind of almost look like a mixture of a blind at the bottom portion here with a valance on top. So um, they definitely looked, I was very pleased with these. It's not what I expected. Um, you also get a microwave, which we have right here. Now in the picture, they have it over here in the corner. Um, I did everything I could to try to get that to go in the corner and have it at a diagonal, but no matter what I did with this microwave, it just would not go in the corner the way the other microwaves go. So uh, from what I you know, can tell from it, it doesn't look, I mean, it'll go in the corner, but it faces in the direction that the Sims, as far as I could tell, would not be able to use it. So uh, you also get various different counters. Uh, you do get an island counter. Uh, the doors on the other side look the same as the ones here on these base cabinets here. So you get a matching island. It does not come with any bar stools. So um, that's why I don't have any pictured here. I don't normally put any added stuff in other than, you know, what to make the room, you know, to look nice. So it does not come with any bar stools. Uh, it does come with these counters, as you can see here. I did not change any coloring. Uh, this is one of the colors that you, or the patterns and colors that you do get with the set. Um, like I said, this sink does not go with the set, so I uh, don't mind the sink. I just put it there, just you know, for the look of the kitchen. Uh, you do get a new uh, dishwasher as well to go with it. And some new hanging lights here. These I thought were very pretty. Uh, when I started looking into the set, I had noticed that there's actually quite a few lights um, with this set that you get. And we'll get to those here in a minute. And then when you put the two counters together, you know, your corner, you get like this really, you know, it come, even has a door when you do it, when it combines and makes a nice corner, it even creates a door for you. So that was a nice added touch. I like that. Um, then also you will get a various different upper cabinets with this set. You get some, of course, with the closed doors. Um, and then you also get ones that have, get the camera here for you, have, you know, the glass here that shows a little bit of the, you know, a few things on the inside. So that was kind of nice. Have some glass doors. You also get a new stove. Now I'm not really too sure. I haven't used a stove yet, so I don't know. Um, based on the price of it, it's actually rather cheap for the stoves. So I'm not going, I don't think it's going to you know, be self-cleaning. Uh, a lot of times when I build, I put in the one stove. I, I do the one stove and fridge and everything because of the fact that they match, but they are also, the stove is self-cleaning. So I don't know, since I haven't actually used anything in this set in my own game, I really couldn't tell you what kind of quality this stove is actually going to be on whether or not it breaks down or not really breaks down but whether or not it catches on fire easily whether or not it gets dirty super easily whether it's self-cleaning i really don't know any of those that information on this stove at this time uh you also get over here we have a new uh, mixer or blender or whatever those things are so um 
I, I can't, pro processor, there we go, it's a food processor. I knew I would eventually remember what it was. And then you also get this um, plate rack here that goes underneath the counter, or not counter, <laughs> underneath the cabinet. Um, it actually places at this height, so that is um, why I had put it there. Uh, I really like that touch. Um, you know, having a few of these added extra pieces just to kind of help make your kitchen look a little bit more unique. I just like that. So um, over here we have the refrigerator. It is designed to look just like the rest of the cabinets. Now what I ended up doing, uh, just so we could kind of display the cabinet or the whatever, it is, this, this um, upper cabinet thing here, I'm trying to get a decent view on it, but uh, anyway, here we go. There we go. I'm trying to get a decent view on it for you. Um, but this goes in at the same height as the rest of the counter or cabinets, upper cabinets up here. Now what I noticed with it is it doesn't place or snap to the upper cabinets. It does not snap to the wall. Uh, in order for me to place this and actually put it where it would be flush or match the rest of the cabinets, I had to put move objects on and I had to also turn on the uh, do not, you know, no snap, or what is it, disable snapping to, or not, I can't even think of what it, how you put it. <laughs> I type it in all the time, but I don't actually think of it. Disable snapping to slots on alt, I believe is what it is. Um, I will put um, a little, uh, like, notation or something on the screen in this area to let you know what that is, because in case I said it wrong, and so you can see how it is. In case you don't know about that cheat, it allows you to actually move objects literally exactly where you want them. And I had to do that in order to put this upper cabinet here in and for it to, like I said, to be flush and look good. Now I put it on top of the uh, refrigerator. I did that because I kind of wanted to see how it looked. Um, I'm still unsure on whether or not I like it. See, I like the idea of having all this other food and stuff sitting on top of the refrigerator, but I was unable to hide these below, these under, um, these little drawers right here without it, you know, poking through the refrigerator and the refrigerator looking a little out of place and things like that. So I probably won't do this again unless I mess with it a little bit more and just kind of come up with, you know, something anyway that works. Uh, so, but that's why I put it there. I'm just kind of testing it, seeing, you know, you know, taking a look at the uh, upper cabinet just to kind of see what we could do with it. Uh, you also get a new bookshelf uh, that also will match the cabinets in your kitchen. So, and like I said, we did get a lot of lights and you're going to start seeing some of them lights now showing through. Um, you get a new hanging light right here. Um, this big chandelier is actually quite big, uh, but it matches the other ones that we have in the kitchen. So uh, you also, I'm not sure why with this set we got so many different lights, but we did. Uh, you also get this hanging sconce here. It's kind of, to me, it almost looks a little bit of a more of a modern take on first sconce. So, but that's just my opinion on it. Um, and then you get this other one here. I'm not really too sure what to think about this one. <laughs> to be sure, you know, to be exact. I'm not really sure exactly what my opinion is on that one. It's kind of different. Um, and then we have this one here that just looks like, I don't honestly know what they're called. We actually have them in our house because our house is really old and not all the light fixtures have been updated. Uh, but this, you know, one of those ones where you just have the light bulb and no cover. We actually have one that's on the wall like this. We have a few of them that's on the ceiling and then we have actually have one on the wall with the, you know, the pull chain. So we, so that's kind of what this is. It's a little bright. Um, I didn't tone down any of the light fixtures. I probably should have just so you could see this one a little bit better. And then you do get a clock, uh, kind of. I was kind of surprised on the looks of this clock because the set isn't really modern. It's more, I mean, it kind of is, 
you know, the handles and stuff are a little bit with, and then having some of the metal and stuff like that. But it's more of a beachy, like it says, you know, Bayside, more beachy, uh, um, using woods and things like that, that you would have on an island, more like an island feel. And then this clock looks like it would belong in a completely a real modern house. Not really, I don't think anyway, in a, a beach side or bay side or island type of house. So now um, you also get this other bookshelf here on the right. It is made out of concrete and wood. So kind of nor more of a, you know, a up to date type of bookshelf. Um, I have seen these on internet. So going around pictures of those uh, here. Now I put, I actually had forgotten about this. This is one of those espresso machines or whatever. I actually forgot to put this in. So this is kind of why it's sitting over here because it was kind of, you know, like I said, I forgot to put it in, but you do get this espresso machine. And the reason why I did not use this sink, I had said, hold you, there was a reason why I didn't put the sink where I had. Um, in the picture, when you get this set, the sink is right up, you know, with the rest of the counters as if it snapped in and it looks good. I could not get mine to snap in. As you can see, it has this gap here on the side. I even uh, put move objects on. I even turned off the snapping. And I still, you could, I could not move this sink like you can everything else. Uh, so no matter what I had done, I could not get it to go flush. And I had it there and it had two gaps on each side. Because as you can see, it's not even as wide as the other cabinets. So I'm not sure what is going on here or what they were thinking when they created this sink. But unless I make use this sink as a standalone sink with no other cabinet or counters beside it, I probably will not be using this sink unless I actually move the counters to move with it by taking off the snapping. Um, otherwise, I don't think I am probably going to ever use a sink because the fact that it's not easily placed, it leaves this gap here. And I am not impressed with that at all. Not at all. So um, that is my thoughts on this sink. Uh, now, I, you also get one more item. And I thought it was so adorable. Just so cute. I, it's like one of these little rolling tables here with a towel and it almost looks like you would have like some type of cleaning supplies and stuff underneath. I mean I just think it is so cute. Just so adorable. Um, and like I said it comes with that cute little towel. I just I like this little uh, end table thing or whatever you want to call it. Whatever those are. But I would have to say my overall thought of this set. Um, I do think you get a decent amount of items um, with the cost. It is only 499 sim points, so I don't think that is that bad. That's actually, you know, I think pretty good for the amount of items you get, even though the items are a lot of extra lights that, you know, don't necessarily go with each other theme-wise. But I think the fact that you get, you know, new appliances, um, and you get a couple bookshelves and all these neat little added details to the count upper cabinets up here. I do think it is definitely well spent on the sim points. They do look nice. So, um, but yeah, that is my opinion, my review on this set. So I hope you enjoyed. If you would like to see more, give this video a thumbs up. Leave some comments below. If there's maybe a set that you would like a little bit more of a look on before you were to purchase it, just let me know in the comments below and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.